Meat, fish, and fowl are all major parts of many diets, but a lot of people are joining the growing trend of eating more fruits and vegetables instead. Registered dietitian Kayla Irvin Blackstock is here to show us what's on the menu using vegan recipes. Kayla? Well, vegetarians don't eat any meat, fish, or poultry, and vegans, in addition to not eating any meat, fish, or poultry, don't eat any animal products, including byproducts such as eggs, dairy, and honey. So to have a nutritionally sound vegan diet, the key is variety. So the diet mainly consists of nuts, seeds, legumes, whole grain products, fruits and vegetables, including a lot of green leafy vegetables. The first recipe we have is an arugula walnut pesto farfalle pasta. So first you're gonna start by cooking the farfalle pasta over the stove. While you're cooking that, you're going to blend your walnuts, pesto, and your lemon zest along with your garlic, salt, and pepper to make a pesto sauce. Then you're going to toss up the pasta along with your walnuts and raisins to make a great pasta. The arugula is gonna be contains a lot of vitamin A and C, and the walnuts contain a lot of omega-3 fatty acids, which are heart-healthy fats. So the next recipe we have is a pad thai tofu. The pad thai sauce is gonna be made with a little bit of low sodium soy sauce, marin, hot sauce, rice vinegar, and maple syrup. The noodles are gonna to be tossed with a little bit of green scallions, carrots, mushrooms, lime, and garlic, along with some dry roasted peanuts. And then the coconut milk is gonna be used for flavoring. Just remember that you can use a fourth a cup of tofu blended or a fourth a cup of applesauce for your egg substitute, along with um, nuts, coconut, or rice milk for your, for your dairy product substitutes in a vegan recipes. Remember that you can find all of these great vegan recipes on WKNO.org or smartmedicine.tv.